The best way to do well with any trade is to figure out the trend. So it's better to get 10 in 1 different moving averages indicator from the TradingView website and use it as the first indicator in this money making trading strategy. After adding the indicator to your chart, set MA1 to RMA with a 200 period and set its time frame to 1 hour time frame since we're using a 15 minute chart. Then set MA2 to EMA with a 200 period on a normal method. You can choose the color for two moving averages as you wish. Those two moving averages will help us to figure out the market trend. We say the market is going up when the price is above both moving averages at the same time. And we say the trend is going down when the price is below both moving averages at the same time. So only make trades that go with the larger trend as shown by the moving averages. That way you focus on high probability trades and avoid bad trades against the trend. A swing with trend makes this strategy more reliable over time. Now go back to the indicator section and search for DPMO and add the decision point price momentum oscillator indicator to your chart. In the settings under inputs, set the source to close. Then change first moving a smoothing to 100 and the second smoothing to 200. Then turn on fill region, enable histo color and show only histo options. Now head over to the style section and choose the histogram color like in this video. Basically, this oscillator helps confirm or reject the signals that are generated. We use it like this. If the histogram is green, it confirms long signals. And if it is red, it confirms short signals. Confirmation from different indicators helps fix the individual problems and false signals of any one indicator. So now it's time to add an indicator that gives signals. So we need to add the pivot point super trend indicator to the strategy. In the settings, change pivot point period to 4, ATR factor to 3, ATR period to 14, and turn on show pivot points. Then head over to the style section and turn off all options except buy and sell options. This will clean up the chart and only show the buy and sell signals we need. So there are three things that must happen to make a buy trade. First, the pivot point super trend indicator has to give a buy signal. Second, the market momentum has to be going up. So both moving averages have to be above the price action. Finally, the DPMO oscillator histogram needs to be green and above zero, showing the upward momentum.
so when all three things happen that's the signal candle and we can enter the trade at the close price of the signal candle and you can use the recent swing low to set your stop loss Aim for a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1.5 one to exit the trade. The same three things must happen to enter sell trade. The pivot point super trend indicator must give a sell signal. The market momentum must be going down, so the price action needs to be below both moving averages. The DPMO oscillator histogram should be red and below zero, confirming the downward momentum. When those three things happen, that's the signal candle, and we can enter a sell trade at the close price of the signal candle. And you can use the recent swing high to set your stop loss. And aim for the risk reward ratio of 1 to 1.5 one to exit the trade. Just like with buy trades, we only take sell trades when all three requirements are met. A signal confirmed downtrend and oscillator confirmation. This keeps the strategy simple and increases the chance of success. Stay disciplined and only trade the high probability setups as defined by the rules. A small consistent gains over time leads to bigger profits. So keep emotions out of it. And if you want to stop losing in trading, you absolutely cannot mess this video. Learn the right strategy is the key.